All right, well, it's not often you have father-sons both be captains at a college football team, and you guys are among them. So I guess standing here at media days with knowing that that's happened, what's, like, what's the coolest thing about that for each of you? Well, anytime you're in the same sentence with the Lockets, because <laughs> Kevin and Tyler are the only two that I know that were father-son captains at K-State, so we might be the second. I don't know of any others, but anytime we can get our names together like that, that's really great. And then, and obviously, it's a heck of an honor because he grew up watching K-State, and the fact that he's uh, got a chance to lead the football team out there in 2015 is very exciting. Yeah, I could, I could just echo what he said, and um, yeah, it's it's a very very special honor, especially when your your teammates vote on it and uh, you know recognize you, your uh, your ability to lead, your work ethic, your your, uh, your body of work, you know, as, as you've been here through five years. So, yeah, it's it's very special. You know, I just I just consistently bought in to the way Coach Snyder does things um, and encouraged my teammates. Uh, always tried to always tried to show that you know working hard will get you places. And you know, I think I think the big thing is you know I might not have recorded any stats, but people really appreciate uh, on our team. They really appreciate special teams. I mean they. They they see how big a factor it's played in our success, and um, you know they they appreciate that that block that doesn't get seen on TV. You know when we're in the film room, they're like, "Wow, that was a great play." And there's you know there's there's stuff like that. Or many times I'll be in a situation where I'm communicating things on the field using my head, where you know guys really appreciate that. And, you know, um, pulling guys into the film room, saying, "Hey, come watch some film with me." Um, getting everybody better, and you know they, they see that and appreciate that on this team. And fortunately, you know they do. And so I've been given the opportunity to be a captain. And, um, so I think that's the biggest thing: is it, we've got a special team that really sees the little things that everyone does and really appreciates it. And uh, fortunately, they saw that. Uh, it is a dream come true. Not because it's my dream, because I know it's his dream. And uh, he, he has a younger brother that's playing high school football and has the same dreams. You know, it's very unlikely he'll play college football. And the, both boys knew that. They knew how hard it was. They were around it their whole life. They don't take it for granted. And the fact that he makes a play, and I know how excited he is to do it for his school, K-State. And then he understands when you're watching a game as a K-State fan, broadcaster or my family in the stands, we want results. You know, you want big plays. You want to win. So our family's very objective about those things. When he actually does it, he is making so many thousands of people happy and especially all his family and friends. Not because, oh, you know, our relative did it. No, K-State had a big play, and number 12 made it. It happens to be Stanton Weber. The better football player, you or dad? Oh, he was. <laughs> I, uh, I played at a different time. Oh, I don't know that's, not, I, uh, that's not an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> These guys win. We, we didn't win as much, so it's, it's really... It's really hard to say, but if I would have accomplished as much with uh, what I had, then I would have been a lot better football player. I mean, he, he has way surpassed me in the things that matter as a parent, and as Coach Snyder looks at his players, he wants them to be the best they can be and better than you would ever expect them to be. And Stan has obviously done that way better than me. Have, have you ever gone back and critiqued Dad's game? Oh, yeah. Uh, we, <laughs> we had a... There was, there was somebody sent me an email that had a bunch of pictures from the, the Vanderbilt game. The first game in 1984 at oh, Vanderbilt. And uh -huh. he, he, was, he was running. He just had awful ball security. I sent him a picture. <laughs> yeah, and so that, I mean, that I, was, probably, I was scrambling and the ball was, uh, was like, too yeah, far away. Out of here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he quickly told me about ball security, something we never knew about back then. I tweeted about that. Yeah. <laughs>